family people prefer such cars, because CEE is not very big, but also not small, average. It is also practical, capacious and inexpensive, but most importantly, reliable. Sales of a practical and stylish station wagon began later than the five-door hatchback, but in the same 2012. And a year later, the Sida model range was replenished with a cocky three-door equipped with a 1.6-liter engine. Later, a 204-horsepower turbo engine also appeared. In May, cars were sold mainly of the Kaliningrad assembly. The second-generation Kia Seed turned out to be an extremely trouble-free car, despite its stylish and, if you like, sophisticated appearance. Partly due to the fact that its technical stuffing is not so progressive in design, although you can't call him a simpleton either. The SID's engines are gasoline four-cylinders with multi-point injection of 1.4 liters, 100 horsepower, and 1.6 liters, 129 horsepower. Paired with them are six-speed manual and automatic transmissions. Both motors are strong enough. True, on a 1.4 liter already at 60 to 90,000 kilometers, the converter may fail. This moment is important not to miss. The fact is that if you continue to drive with a worn catalyst, from 46,000 rubles, then the engine can be destroyed. Porcelain honeycombs of the neutralizer are destroyed over time and their super hard remains are sucked back into the bowels of the motor, destroying the cylinder piston group. If the sore is recognized in time, then you can get off with a little blood, by replacing or simply removing the neutralizer. A more powerful 1.6-liter engine suffers from this ailment to a lesser extent. But he often turns the liners. Koreans attribute this to the use of not the highest quality oil, although design miscalculations are not excluded. But otherwise, there are practically no problems with power units. In the timing mechanism, they use a strong chain that nurses up to 200,000 kilometers or more. Both engines are designed for 90-second gasoline, although the 95th seed rides better and more economically. Keep an eye on the oil level and change it every 10,000 kilometers, especially if you operate the car mainly in the metropolis. At risk are crankshaft and camshaft oil seals, spark plugs and ignition coils that are sensitive to fuel quality. Boxes are also reliable. Although the MCP had one birth defect, corrosion of the input shaft, which was changed at the same time as the oil seal, and even carried out a recall campaign. If these details were not touched on cars manufactured before August 2014, then the second owner will have to spend 10,000 rubles on replacement. At the same time, you can install a repair kit for the backstage of the gearshift lever, or only 3,000 rubles. The machine won't be a problem either. The key to its longevity is an oil change every 60 to 80,000 kilometers, preferably with the filter. The operation is costly an average of 20,000 rubles, since you have to remove or hang out the box. The suspension has weak wheel bearings, which can howl already for 30,000 kilometers. But the bearings of the racks, 1,500 rubles each, withstand twice as much. Stabilizer struts, 900 rubles each, last up to 70,000 kilometers. In general, a used EE is a good option. It is better to take a post-styling copy when the main defects have already been overcome. Transmission. In an automatic transmission, it is recommended to change the oil on average every 70,000 kilometers. And it is better to do this together with the replacement of the filter, which is located in the pan of the machine. Also keep an eye on the condition of the CB joint anthers. If their rubber boots are worn and frayed, replace them immediately. Otherwise, you will have to spend money on the grenades themselves, which are much more expensive, at least 7,500 rubles each. Engine monitor the condition of the catalytic converter if it starts to break down it can destroy the motor itself for more than five years eight russian conditions rarely hold a radiator its upper tank is destroyed from salt and chemicals replacement from 10,500 rubles at the same time the engine starts to drive oil the fact is that as such there are no seals and gaskets in the motor all attachments are planted on a sealant and it dries out suspension the weak point of the chassis is the rear springs and shock absorbers. Due to their initially incorrect settings, after 120 km h the car begins to behave inappropriately. The problem is solved by installing non-original Prunsix with shock absorbers of any well-known brand. They say it helps. With age, wheel bolts and studs quickly corrode. Masters advise to lubricate all threaded connections. Body. Sid's paintwork is frail 
and the metal itself is not strong enough and resistant to corrosion. Moreover, it can acquire chips anywhere, from thresholds and wheel arches to the roof and pillars of the body. Most of all goes to the roof, because it is not initially protected from rust. On some specimens, after the first winter, it is red in the area of backslash U200 B backslash U200 B windshield and the roof swells with bubbles. Electric. Failures happen here. Sometimes the power windows and the multimedia system are buggy. The central locking and climate control begin to live their lives. Fortunately, these problems on the side are not widespread. It is worse when, due to chemistry and salt, the engine compartment electrician begins to mope. Repairs won't be cheap, 